Like this is a great way to get started. We never really had the JX open water when I was young. Um, so to start with that two and a half kilometer distance is, is perfect. So you get started with doing a JX clinic, maybe do a few of the ocean swims, and then gradually work your way up to doing a 5K or a 10K. That's how you develop through uh, progressing in open water. But just start small. Okay. Don't go out there from the start and sprint and like you're doing a 200 or a 400 freestyle. It's quite a different preparation. Um, obviously, you're in the elements, so you've got to take all of those kind of factors into account. You've, you've got to really stay level-headed and um, have a bit of a race. Well, you've definitely got to have a race plan for what you're doing out in uh, open water because um, a few things can happen, a few different things can happen. Whereas in a pool, you, can, you definitely know what you're going to do in your lane. So, um, yeah, you've got to be prepared for anything really in an open water race. Yeah, it's a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, you're swimming for potentially two hours in the ocean, rivers, uh, all over the world versus swimming in controlled environments such as a 50 metre pool. Um, temperatures vary, conditions vary, so there's totally so many different elements at play. Um, it just makes for completely different sport. From an athlete's point of view was I got to travel the world and race in some just amazing locations. I got to swim in the most beautiful oceans in Mexico, lakes in Canada, um, and it was always different. It wasn't always, you know, chasing the black line. What would I say to someone about the try open water? I'd say get out there, enjoy it. Don't take your first experiences how it'll go forever because your first experience is just getting familiar with the open water itself. It can be pretty daunting. Don't get too swept up in the moment. Just take it easy and enjoy the race.